Okay, we uh, you, in another five minutes you can talk all you want again. So let me just have you for five more minutes here. This is assignment number five of the six that we're doing this weekend. And this is the first one for today. And this is the one we're going to work on next from 11 to 12. Then we'll break for lunch. If you have questions, problems, concerns, and, and, and this is great. I'm seeing a lot of work. Just show it to me ahead of time. If you have questions, problems, concerns with any of the assignments for any of this weekend here, you can show me what you've done. I can tell you whether or not it's good. And then you can get full credit for it when you turn it in because you're going to know it's going to be right. So that's what I'm here for. So if you don't see me out there, come over here with your computer. I see a lot of people are doing it and just letting everybody know that that's okay. Go ahead and continue doing it. That's what you're, that's what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so the assignment that we're going to work on next is not having to do anything with SQL, which is nice because I haven't finished the SQL stuff yet. The last one for today will be a bunch of SQL queries, but we haven't started on that one yet. So what we're going to look at for this assignment here, you're going to do some research. And the research that you're going to do is the differences between object-oriented features of Oracle and object orientation. So you might not be familiar. Some of you coming from different backgrounds might not be familiar with object orientation. So it's going to require a little bit of internet search to become familiar. So do some reading. Find, it's not a bad way to, to kind of research it and kind of see what is object orientation. Or if you already have some ideas, some of you have taken my Java courses and stuff, so you know a little bit about object orientation, use that background knowledge as well, um, or in lieu of having to do an internet search. So some people will have more difficulty with this than others, depending upon your background. So you're going to research object-oriented features. There are object-oriented features of Oracle that aren't easy to find. So you'll have to research that a little bit. Go to the Oracle website and you'll find a ton of information and just search on object-oriented Oracle and see what is what is meant by the implementation of object orientation in Oracle. You can go to a library, you can use any source that you want. Um, you're going to answer the following questions in 100 to 150 words. I'm not looking for volume. Summarize the object relational features. So Oracle is a relational database. It follows a relational model. However, it has object relational features that were interesting, actually. Hardly, I mean, they're used, but they're, I'm, I'm not going to give anything away here, but go ahead and find out what these, this is another scavenger hunt. You're not going to find this, however, in the many lectures that you looked at yesterday. You're going to find this in articles about it that are going to be written on, on different, by different people, by different companies that are going to appear on the internet. Um, you want to list a few applications which would benefit from these features, which is kind of interesting because you're not necessarily going to be aware of these features. And when you find the features, then you're going to see them related to certain applications, database applications, but as well as database design features, as well as third-party applications that are built to work with these Oracle object-related features, object relational features. And then you can compare the object model in Oracle with the object-oriented languages that you might be familiar with, such as Java or C++. Don't do a full, this is why it says 100 to 150 words for each one of these things here, or total. Don't write more than a page on this stuff. This you could probably write about 20 pages on if you really thought about it, but that's not the purpose. So I'm not looking for volume here. You can answer each one of the questions individually, or you can answer them all together in a short little essay if you wanted to do it that way. What you want, the purpose is to explore the object relational features and compare that with traditional object orientation. There's some like myself who disagree and say, well, Oracle's not really object oriented. And there's others out there that disagree with me and say, oh, no, 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 Oracle's object relational, you know, and here's the object concepts and here's everything that's associated with it. And it's just like object orientation. So it depends on your understanding of object orientation, what you consider object oriented. And you consider the full usage of it. My definition of it is a little bit different than yours probably, which is my definition is going to be different than other people out there as well. So it's more of an exploration of the object-oriented concepts. Questions about this particular assignment? <laughs> this is what we're doing, the in-class kind of research thing. You may also be finishing up and working on some of the other assignments that you have been doing for the first day and the second day as well. And just to reiterate the point, because I know I have a couple people here that weren't here yesterday or the day before, which is kind of interesting. Uh, all the assignments are due on Tuesday evening at midnight. I cannot extend that deadline. It is actually, they were supposed to be due tonight, but given all of the 
internet, you know, and kind of you know, traveling issues and stuff. You have till Tuesday night, but don't wait till Tuesday night to turn everything in because you're going to end up with the internet going down or the EMS going down or, you know, problems. But you have that little slack time between the end of this weekend and Tuesday night to have everything turned in. So just in case you weren't, didn't get the memo yet. So anybody have any questions? Then you may work on this until 12 noon, and then we'll break from 12 to 1.30 for lunch, just like yesterday. Cool. Yeah?